Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Holly and this is Hollywood Hooked. Um, we are here today to show you some finished objects and some new acquisitions and a couple work in progress or whips. We'll call them whips. So we're going to jump right into it. We're going to make this a quicker video. Um, so first item, finished item is, what do we call this one? The Midwife Blankets by Rebecca Langford. This is done in the Bernat Baby Sport Light Lilac. Um, this one is finished. It's got like a little scallop border. Yes, we finished it. It's nice. It's been washed. Super soft. I will keep this one. I know the last video I said I might give it to the people across the street, but I'm going to keep this one because I like it. And I don't really talk to the neighbors, so I think it'd be kind of weird just to give them stuff. So, there we are finished item number one. All right, finished item number two is the Diamond Stitch Baby Blanket by Olga Poltava and the Baby Burnett Sport again in coral and white. Um, now this is a free pattern. I think I found this one on Pinterest. No, I didn't. This one's on Ravelry. Um, but the pattern is just for the coral part. And then the border, I have a book on how to crochet borders and I will link it down below, down below. I left the book in the other room. Um, but I do remember it's number 67. So border number 67. So there's that. So yes, yeah, so that one's finished. So there's that. Third finished item is what I am wearing. This is, this was an interesting one. Um, part of my new acquisitions was new yarn. Um, I bought a kit from Hershner's and this is the anniversary shawl kit. And we got it mainly because it's got the, I've been wanting to try the two ply yarn from there. And it was only 20 bucks for this kit. so. I got this one. Now this one is weird in the fact that there's multiple sections and within the section, even though it's a half circle shawl, there's no increases in some of the sections. So when you're working it, it's, it's kind of strange. Um, I have not blocked this, but I don't know if I will because I try to lay it out and it just seemed more of a hassle to try to get it to straighten out or be a certain shape. I got frustrated. I quit. I'll probably just throw it in the wash and let it loosen up a bit and then yeah that would be that. All right so that's I had, that's my finished objects. I got three. I think that's good. I've been gone for like oh three weeks maybe. I don't know. All right so whips. First whip I will show you this was done, um, I do not have, where I found this, this, I found this pattern on Ravelry, just throw it straight the front side, um, I've been wanting to find a square pattern with a little floral design, so we found this one, um, and I do not remember what it's called, I will link it down below, um, so this is done in my Aldi yarn that I bought last year. Um, I have one. It's going to be a Christmas blanket. It goes seven by seven squares. And so I have the red, I have the gray, and then I have green. So I'll put these all together and I'll do a white border on it, like a fun white border. And I'll have a Christmas blanket, which will be nice. Um, so there's that. And then my last item was part of my acquisitions. Um, it was my birthday recently, so I decided to buy me things, hence the Hershner yarn. And then I also bought, I got six of these, the Cotton Fair, Premier Cotton Fair. And these, all six of them are in the, um, yellow flash colorway um, 
And with that, I also bought the Busy Bee Top Pattern by Jean from On The Hook Crochet. Um, I don't know why I always want to say hers different. And then I also bought a project bag from Ella from No Kitchy Names. So I was able to snag up this cherry one and it has the roses on the inside. Um, so yes. And so in here, let's see, where am I at? So I have on my shirt, I have my back panel finished and complete. And then I have my front panel I just started. So I have this and I have about 26 more rows until I, uh -huh. no, I have more than 26 rows before I finish this, but yes. So I have this, so that's my new items. And then I also bought another pattern. I got Seta's new sleeveless top pattern. Um, I wanted, I tried to start it with this yarn, but it did not look right. You couldn't want to be able to see the stitch work in that one because it switches up and all. And you couldn't with that yarn because it's too busy. So I'm going to maybe place a pickup order for Michael's and um, do that. Yes. I know they're having some sales right now. They're having BOGO sales um, or all kinds of sales on different yarns. So we'll try it. We will try it. So that is all I have for you today. Yes. Um, I will be back once I finish that top and show you that. And yes, that's, that's it. Well, I hope you guys have a good weekend. And yes, I always end these very oddly. But here we go. We're done. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.